Hello and welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. We're going to do a video today. It's going to be another experimental video. We did the one with the um, the birch oil and that one turned out real well. And I know that they made it out of uh, pine trees also. They used the roots and they used the stumps. And that had a more wider use than the birch oil did as far as maritime use and for um, putting it on grass ropes and stuff like that to preserve it. So. Up here we have no shortage of supply of uprooted trees. So I'm just going to pick a couple of dead ones. We're going to cut off some of these um, roots here into smaller pieces. And, and they did it in a much bigger capacity with dirt over. It just, if you look it up at how they actually made the, the tar or the pitch itself, um, it's completely different than I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it in that same bucket like we did the birch oil. And we'll just see if, if we get anything out of it. And then if a person does, you could go from there. find it hard to believe. I mean, they want this to be done in dry wood, and you'd think that you'd want it to be wet wood because it would have more stuff in it, but we'll just do it like it says and see what happens. I just can't see getting a lot of anything out of this. Well, we'll poke our hole in the bottom of the can again. See it? There's the hole. Okay, well I got that much packed in there. It's actually quite a bit. The neat thing about this is even if we don't get anything out of the pine sap or whatever, the, the finished product of this is uh, charcoal. So you can use it as charcoal, so maybe I'll even try cooking on that tonight and see how that works. But right now let's get this capped up and dig ourselves a hole in the fire and let's get this started. Alright, now we're going to do this the same way we did the other one. We've got our hole on the bottom, set this down, put this on top so this heats up and the stuff will run down inside of this can. I put a rock on top just like I did with the birch oil. I don't know how much pressure is going to be inside of this one, but it helps keep that cover on when it gets real hot. Grab a few bigger logs, get this thing going. Well, I'm going to light this up and then we'll come back. I'm going to let it burn for probably two hours and then we'll open it up and see what happens. I'll just keep adding wood onto the fire and Hopefully that'll condense down and give us some sort of a product. Well, it's been on there for about 2 hours and 15 minutes now. I'll get this dug out. still can't see how this one can work. It's just like there wouldn't be anything inside of that time to do anything, but it'll be interesting to see. I'll get this dug out and grab a glove and we'll pull this off. Okay, here we go. Well, I 
can't really believe it, but there is something down there. Doesn't look like a whole lot of it, but I can't believe there's anything. Well, let's pull that out and see what we ended up with. Okay, I don't know if you can see that in there. We didn't get much, but we did get something. So we'll let that cool down for a little bit so we can dump it out and we'll see what kind of consistency we have there. That is really sweet. Well, we didn't get very much of it. The reading online when they would do it, they said if they had a cord of wood, which they were guessing was a thousand pounds, they could get 60 gallons of this stuff out of it. I don't know. It smells like the fire. <laughs> and I, it looks, seems like it might be coagulating a little bit. So we'll have to see, because this is like a pine tar. And a, kind of a, there's pitch in there too, so we'll wait and see. We'll let that uh, harden up a little bit more and we'll check it one more time, but isn't that amazing? And now I know that they use this when you make the grass ropes, like Zachary does again. I just like with the birch oil, they, they used to use this in the ships when they made ropes and stuff like that, because those people would be called tar heels because their hands would always be uh, black from the, the sap that was in this stuff. So anyway, we'll check it back one more time in maybe an hour and see what it looks like. I figure while we're waiting for that, we might as well check and see. I open this up, see how we did for our charcoal. I see no reason to make charcoal unless you are making something out of it. But... <laughs> Look at that. Ready? It's just regular, like when you buy the real wood charcoal. That is amazing. Look at that. Well, there you go. You get two different products when you make this one. Amazing. Well, let's take a peek at this one last time. It's actually been several hours since I did this. I got busy doing something else. No, I didn't quail it up. Man, that's some dark stuff. Look at how dark that is. I mean, not super sticky though. I mean, it's kind of nice. So, I don't know. What I'm going to do is in the description, there's going to be a link. I don't know if you can click on it or if you have to type it in, whatever. But uh, you can go to the site that tells everything that they use this for. It was really interesting. So, I don't know. Take it for what it's worth. I don't know what we'll use it for, but we'll find something to use it for. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.